Hey, it's Samantha here from the Data Are All Right, and today I'm recording a video about how to use Conga Composer to download a donation acknowledgement in Salesforce and the Nonprofit Success Pack. So let's dive in. I created a sample donation here from our friend Salamander, and there's a button I created using Conga Composer that starts a merge process. So let's look at what the solution does, and then we're going to look at how you can replicate it in your own organization. So we have a dialog box here where a lot of information is pre-filled. Conga is smart enough to know what template I want to use, know who we're <laughs> merging data about, um, how to download it, where to save it. We're going to log an activity and we're even going to update fields. So we're going to do all of that with the click of one button. Conga is going to run a bunch of code in the background and then I'm going to get a file downloaded in my browser. So let's look at that real quick. Moving it over. Here we go. Enable editing. So I kept this really brief for the purpose of an example, but it includes the billing address and a brief note, um, including a mail merge field of how much the donation was for. And then what's really cool is when we return to the opportunity, Conga is going to have worked some magic in the background and we're going to update these two fields, which previously were blank. We're going to save a file in case anyone needs to reference it down the line. And we're finally going to log an activity. So I intentionally call it donor acknowledgement merged, not donor acknowledgement mailed, because sometimes there's a gap between when we download the stuff and when we put it in the mail. And so I want to keep our database nice and clean. We'll have to use a different process to make sure that these letters, once printed, actually get to the directed recipient. I love this solution because I think it, um, inside of the nonprofit success pack, you can use a different button to acknowledge the payment um, or the donation, and it will send an email to the person as well as update these fields. I like to complement that with a hard copy version depending on the context of your organization. And so it's nice to know that even if you do the paper version, you can still have some automation in your system. So how do you actually make Conga do all of these things? Let's look at the Conga solution that I built in the background. We're going to find the individual donation acknowledgement letter, and we're going to talk through the different parts of my solution and how you can do it inside of your own org. So this part is the boilerplate that comes with any Conga solution. You don't have to worry about it too much, but just remember that we're running this based on the opportunity. And we told the solution which template to use. You can download a copy of the, my template and you can add your own letterhead and special sauce to it. And then we put in a bunch of these. In Conga, they're called parameters and they determine the behavior of the solution when Conga executes the code. So I put in a template group so that if eventually if I add more templates to the solution, then we'll be able to see just the templates that are relevant to the kind of merge that I'm doing. And then I included these three. This one, UF0, turns on the ability to update fields. And then the, this one tells Conga which field to update and what value should that field have. So I did that for this field, and I also did that for the other acknowledgement field. SC0 has to do with saving a copy, and this is why this is how you were able to see a copy of the file was available related to the record. And then um, this one. Um, changes, let me see, oh, activity logging. So this one is how um, I was able to show it, show that a document was merged in the activity history. 
So there's about a million conga parameters. I actually sometimes get them a little bit mixed up in my own head, but it's okay. You can always look it up and you can always rip off of the work of somebody else to make you, to get your template and your solution that much far closer to your goal. And I want to help you do that. So over here in my GitHub repo, I have uploaded versions of all of the files that you just saw so that you can download them, change them and put them into your organization however it makes sense for you. So I'm going to look at the single donation acknowledgement one. And I put in a little overview that explains what the solution does. In some Conga solutions, you need to bring in data from other places. But luckily enough for this one, no SOQL queries are required. So you can just skip over that. And then I have a file here that kind of explains which parameters I recommend and why. And then lastly, there's a copy of the template that you can download quickly for free. I just downloaded it to show you. And these are all standard fields if you have Salesforce and the NPSP. And so you can just take it and run with it. And you can also, of course, add more fields and add more content. In fact, I hope you do because this is very bare bones. I think that this is a really efficient way to utilize Conga Composer and to expedite your development operations. And I hope you think so too. If you liked the video, leave me a comment and let me know what else you'd like to see so I can keep making Conga Composer videos that will enhance the sector. Thanks for watching.